Don't have a lot of money to dish out for a book cover? Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a book cover for free using Canva. So stick around. How's it shaking, right, writers? Keith Wheeler here, and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out new content. Recently, I've been getting quite a few inquiries about book covers. That's right, I read and respond to every message I get. YouTube comments, emails, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, carrier pigeons, smoke signals. If there's a way for me to get a message, I'll respond to it. Anyway, this particular message reads, Hey Keith, a little birdie told me that you actually made one of your book covers completely for free using Canva. Is this true? Well, thanks for messaging me. And the answer is no, that birdie lied. In fact, I did not make one book cover for free using Canva. I've done over 10 book covers for free using Canva, and I'm going to show you how. I'm currently working on a fun softball themed book. So I'm going to make the book cover for that in Canva right now. So I'm going to flip the screen around and we're going to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to canva.com and I'm going to log in. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up for one. It's absolutely free. Now I'm going to select create a design and I'm going to pick a book cover. As you can see, it starts me out with a blank book cover. You can scroll through, especially if you need to get some ideas. Feel free to go through these already pre-made ones. They have all different types of genres that they cover, everything from children's to romance. I've actually used quite a few of these as the base for my covers. In fact, my author book, Please Don't Beg, How to Get Book Reviews and Keep Your Friends, is actually based off of one of those layouts. I'm going to give this a title. I already know in my mind what layout I want, so I'm actually going to start completely from scratch, and so I need to get some images. I'm going to go to Pixabay. This is one of my favorite free stock image sites. Free is right at my price range. You want to make sure that wherever you get your images, that they are royalty free for commercial use. So you can use them on your books that you plan on selling. Now for this particular book, I'm going to search for softball. And I'll be honest, I've already done some uh, scoping out. I actually want vector graphs. I know I want this one. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to free download. I always pick the 1900. You feel free to, to pick larger if you'd like. You definitely don't want to pick the smaller ones because then as you stretch them, the they will pixelate and the resolution becomes less optimal. I'll save that. And now I'm just going to go back. And what other one do I want? Uh, here, let me take this. Again, free download. Download. Let me go back and see if there's anything else I want. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I like that. Right, we'll go with this one too. I think I might use this one instead of that softball player. And that's all I'm going to use Pixabay for. I'm back on Canva. I'm going to go to Uploads. And I'm going to upload those images. I think I'm just going to use these two. Actually, you know what? I'm really not a big fan of this black softball text. So, here we're gonna we're gonna improvise a bit. Let's go to PowerPoint and delete all that. Insert an image. Pull this in. Right-click on this, and we're gonna go to Format Picture. I wanna go to here, and let's change the picture color. Go down to recolor it. We're gonna color it. Ooh, I like that. That gold. That's much better. I'm gonna right click on this, save it as a picture, and I'm gonna call this softball underscore text. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there, and then I can I'll close out of all this. I don't need to save it. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna upload that new one. And I saved, I don't know why it's saving the pictures, but there we go. Now if I just click on it, it brings it over. I'm just going to make that a little larger. I want to put that down. I oh, guess I made it a little too, too big. There we go. As you can see, Canva gives you the little guides to show you 
where you're at as far as being centered. Okay. Now I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna put that. Definitely want this to be larger. Yeah, that looks good. Understand that you're gonna have bleed on your cover, so you don't want anything important to be cut off on the edges. So I'm gonna make this a little smaller. There we go. And I know what you're thinking. Keith, you're covering up the softball, but that's fine because I'm going to take this. I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to pull it forward. There we go. It's now covered it. And I want to put some text in here. The name of my title is going to be I Love Softball. Let's try this size. We're going to take this heading and we're going to drag it up here. Obviously, not nearly large enough. So I'm going to highlight that. Up it to, well, let's just say 56 for now. The important part is to find out exactly what font I want. I know it to, I want it to be similar to this softball font. Not exactly. I want it to be a little more unique. Let's see. Let's, let's change the wording to I love. Huh. That might work. And let's make this red. Like a red red. Yeah. Like that red sure how I feel about that but let's make it bigger and see how it looks let's do 96 120 this up oh that's the one I like right there okay I'm gonna do this definitely want to make it a little larger let's do 144 and see how that one. okay now I'm going to make the background completely black oh, okay I see how this is starting to come together. Now if I highlight it, I can just use my arrow keys and move them around to tweak it just right. I actually think I want this to be just a hair bigger. So 144 is all it goes up to. Let's try 150. Nice even 150. No, I still don't like it. It's not big enough. Let's do 160. And there we go in Canva it will auto save every 20 seconds approximately if you want to save sooner than that you can just double click on here it'll save it this is my ebook book cover I just download it I can download it in PDF format I can download it in PNG JPEG however you'd like that's it that's how you create an ebook cover using Canva for free if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below Make sure you give a thumbs up, and on your way out, I'd love it for you to subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out new content. Also, if you have any ideas on future videos, put that in the comments below as well. Like I said before, I check and respond to every single comment I get. Thanks again, and until next time, I'm Keith Wheeler. Remember to write right.